Hello Year 7 and today we're going to start a new scheme of work on the Princes of Wales. So for our starter task, over the next coming lessons you'll probably see a few names with these words ap, de and ver in the middle of them. So here are a few examples of some names you may see. Griffith ap Rhys, William de Barry, and Alice Ver Owain Glyndor. So for your starter task, I want you to write down what you think these three words may mean. So that's ap, de, and ver. So if you want to pause the video here now for a few moments while you write those down, okay? Right, so now you've done that, we'll go through them. So ap means son of. So if David had a son called Peter, he is then known as Peter ap David. De means from. So in the example, William de Barry. William de Barry means William from Barry. And then ver means daughter of. So if Stephen has a daughter called Rian, her name would be Rian Ver Stephen. Notice that it's always the father's name that follows. They don't use the mother's name. So today's lesson objective. First, to state who Gerald of Wales was. Second is to be able to say why Gerald of Wales was thought of as a Prince of Wales. And thirdly, to be able to create a timeline of Gerald of Wales's life. So, Gerald of Wales. Gerald of Wales was born Gerald de Barry. So we remember from our starter, that means Gerald from Barry. He was born circa, that's what that C with a full stop means, circa, and it means around. So Gerald of Wales was born around 1146. So we don't know the exact date of when he was born. At Manor Beer Castle in Pembrokeshire. Gerald Wells died circa, so around, again, 1223 in Hereford. So here we have his timeline. And you can see that the Norman side of Gerald Wells is represented by the blue, and his Welsh side is represented by the red part. So his parents were William de Barry and then Harrod Fitzgerald. His grandparents are then Odo de Barry and his wife, who is unknown. And then his mother's parents were Gerald de Windsor, who was a Norman, and his mother, Nest Ver Rees, as you can see in the picture there, who is Welsh. His great grandparents on his father's side are all unknown. And on his mother's side, it's his great grandparents of Walt, Walter Fitzother and Gladys Conwyn. And then Rhys Ap Tudor, who was King of South Wales. And his wife, Gladys Ver Ruachlon Ap Cunvin. So their daughter, Nest Ver Rhys, the one you can see in the picture, is the daughter of the King of South Wales. And at this time, she was thought of as the last princess of Wales. So this is why it's believed that Gerald of Wales at the time was the Prince of Wales and that he had a legitimate claim to the throne because he was the grandson of the last known Princess of Wales. So your first task is I want you to visit the link at the top of this page and I want you to read the first part called the introduction. Up, I want you to read the first four paragraphs up until the map. Then I want you to use the information from the previously, previous slide and from that website to answer these nine questions. You can answer these nine questions in your book or on paper, or you can use it. Uh, you can use the worksheet that was uploaded with the questions on. So if you'd like to take a moment now, pause this video and go and complete that task.
So now you've all finished that task. We're now going to move on to the timeline of Gerald of Wales's life. So we can see here again in circa 1146, Gerald of Wales is born. In 1160, at the age of 14, he's moved to Gloucester to live in a church with priests in order to train. Following this, he then moves to Paris to train as a priest again. And he returns from Paris in 1174. In 1184, Gerald then goes to work as a priest for King Henry II. In 1185, Gerald, along with the son of King Henry II, visits Ireland. And on his travels of Ireland, he writes about the sights he sees and the life of the Irish people. Three years later, in 1188, Gerald, then with another priest of King Henry's, travels around Wales, visiting different monasteries and churches, and also writes several books of his journey through Wales. Eleven years later, in 1199, Gerald makes the first of his three trips to Rome. The second trip is made in 1201, and the third trip is made in 1202, carrying on till 1203. In 1223, Gerald of Wales dies in Hereford. So your second task of this lesson is, as you can see here in these green boxes, the events that we just discussed on the last timeline have all been mixed up. And what I want you to do is, in your books or on paper, I want you to write these events down and I want you to draw a timeline. And then what I want you to do is align with the year, so input the year and the line of each of these events pointing to their part on the timeline. So the first one is done here for you. So you can see Gerald returns from Paris in 1174 and the line and arrow goes to the point of 1174 on the timeline. Like I said, you can do this in your books or on paper, or there is a worksheet with this timeline and these events marked on for you if you find that easier. So if you'd like to pause this video and take a few minutes to go and complete that task. So now, finally, the last thing we're going to do with this lesson now is I want you to think back to the beginning of the lesson where we discussed app, de, and ver. As an activity, I want you to write down the names of your family members or your household using these prefixes below. So app, Griffith app Reese, William de Barry, Alice Ver, or Ryan Glendor. And remember that ap means son of, de means from, and ver means daughter of. Okay, so this is the final activity of our lesson. And I will see you next time.